everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got a really cool, exciting kit to preview for you guys today. This is the brand new, soon to be released kit from Ming in 112 scale. This is the Ford GT40 Mark II 1966 version. And as you can see just by the box art, it's a big, beautiful car, wonderful looking. I only briefly peeked inside just for a minute just to see that the kind of the parts before we tear it all apart and show you guys all that stuff. Looks really cool inside there. Now with the popularity of the Ford versus Ferrari movie that came out just a couple of years ago, I know there's been a lot of demand, especially people walking into the store asking about getting GT40s. And Ming has answered the call and answered it big time too. Because we didn't get any 24th or 25th scale, we got 12th scale. And that is just great to show off all the detail and quality on that. Now, as I said earlier, this is a soon to be released kit. They are actually just about finishing up uh, production in China and will be shipped out to us. Our website, andyshq.com, will have these available for pre-order very, very soon. And in fact, I believe they're being shipped to us this week and then just uh, a matter of getting them across the, uh, the ocean. Hopefully no more container problems like we did with the last order, but uh, I don't think, I think we'll be okay this time. So there's a decent amount of parts in here. This, this video is just going to be tearing apart and showing you all the individual parts in there, and then eventually we'll build it up. So let's get started. So before we take a look inside the kit, let's take a look at the box art and just tell you a quick few things about this. The box on the cover is the number one car that uh, Ken Miles and Denny Hume drove in the 24 Hours of Le Mans race. And it was actually won by Bruce McLaren and Chris Amon in the number two car down here that you see on the side. So Ming has given you the ability to build either car, either the Ken Miles or the Bruce McLaren one. And both are pretty cool looking, to say the least. So it's a lot of plastic inside here. I'm going to open up each one of the individual bags and then just start showing you all the parts. Let's take a look at what is inside this box. First of all, we've got our instruction sheet, which is, you can see, is a decent size instruction sheet. There's quite a few steps that we're going to have to take. And I'll just briefly kind of show you how they are. So they are color inside here, and they're showing you color as the parts get painted and put into place. Just as you can see right there. So that gives you kind of a general idea how the instructions are going to go on this kit. Next up, we're going to take a look at tires. Now there are three different tires in this set. We've got the two big rears. Nice tread pattern on that. We've got our two front tires, and we have our little spare too, and we'll hold it up to comparison for the big tire. It's the little spare that goes in the front. Also take a look at, because part of this kit does go together with screws, so it's going to have the little screwdriver inside there, and then a bunch of the, uh, the line for radiator hoses, things like that inside plus all of the screws, and it looks like there's also some axle pieces inside here as well. I'm going to leave all those definitely inside this package. We don't want to lose any of those before we start building. And next up in the accessories are the photo etch grills. As you can see it's made out of photo etch steel inside here. Nicely done. And then there's also a cloth fabric inside here as well that is going to replicate the seat belts. Now with that being done, we can start looking at the chassis pieces and how they've done that. And you're going to notice a lot of this is broken up into a couple of different pieces. So here are two of the main chassis pieces. And you can see it's all, all kinds of areas to screw together different parts to give the bulk of the assembly. The, these big thick pieces are all going to be screwed together to give a nice rigidity to the frame. And then next, the, this is going to be the underpan here, and then all that chassis pieces are going to sit on top of this. Nice durable, nice cross members in the middle here too to give it some nice stiffening. And now we can look at the three main components that will make up the, uh, the body. 
So we've got our rear section, front section, where the hood will go. That's where that little spare tire goes in the front. And then the uh, the center cab area. And I'm just kind of like dry fit these just to give you an idea on size. So there you go right there compared to my hand. So it, it's about 14 inches long, I would say. And uh, looks like some nice detail into the body. And I'll show you those parts up close. Finally, that rear end there. Here are the doors. And then we can go right into the engine section now. So we've got some of our transmission pieces here. Followed by the engine block. In white, we have all of the exhaust pieces. It's a quite an intricate looking mold right there. Look how high everything sticks up on this. Usually a lot of times these pipes are all molded as multiple pieces and you're you know gluing two of them together, but a lot of this is already done for you. That is very nice looking molding. So obviously it's slide molding because they've come at it from different angles. So yeah, this is a, a really cool looking slide mold that they've done. Another gray part here. This is going to have some of the brakes and some of the other uh, suspension parts inside there. Looks like that's the fuel cell. Next up, we have, there actually are two sprues inside here of a soft vinyl-y rubber like this. So they're giving you some, of, and this too is slide molded as well. It's the first time I've seen this kind of stuff slide molded. So these pipes are already hollowed out for you. I'm assuming these are for part of the seat. It looks like it's part of the seat. And then boy, they did slide molding on all of this stuff here. So that is in there. And now that was a really soft vinyl. This is a, a firmer but still flexible. And this is going to be some of the, the lines that you're going to use um, for the engine or brake lines or something like that on there. Probably brake lines, things like that. And this is still a soft plastic but not as soft as this stuff is. This stuff is really, really loose and flexible. So hopefully this takes paint okay. Next up, we have one of the black sprues here for the interior of the car. We've got our dash here. I don't know why that thing looks really cool, the way it's sitting right there. We've got our instrument uh, cluster, part of the uh, lower ground effects for the car. And then, of course, you can see that there is quite a bit of slide molding on here. Here's the, the light compartments where the headlights are going to go. Yeah, lots of slide molding on this particular kit. That's the back. And quick shot of all the front pieces. Next up, here we are. So here are the inside portions of the door. You can see they're pretty, pretty big and beefy. All slide molded on this as well. Two big parts for the door because they do fold up. Some of the plumbing steering wheel. And another silver gray sprue we have here. Once again, a lot more slide molding. And we now have our chrome parts here. So here is the uh, the backside of the instrument cluster. Heads look like parts for the uh, the wheels, and maybe looks these look like hinges right here. So, and 
and one of the last sprues that we have here are for the wheels on the kit. And you got the three different styles for the spare, the front, and the two rears. This looks really good with uh, if we do the front one in the sparkling silver, or maybe a titanium gold if we do the black model on that. And the last thing we're going to look at are the decals. Now, if, actually, before we do the decals, too, they have inside here the masking templates for all of the glass. And pull off this protective sheet. Here are our decals. It's kind of nice that they did this in the red already for you, so you're not trying to mask that piece and you know get it just perfect on both sides. You can see because it's officially licensed, we have the Ford on the side here. And then also, it's nice that we have this chrome kind of, hopefully you can see that on there. It's a really shiny looking decal. And lastly, we've got the instrument cluster, the Goodyear tires for the side, and then the, uh, the blue wall, the blue line for the, uh, the side of the tires there. And then lastly, there are just a couple of other little accessory parts that are kind of like floating around in their own little bags, but just a couple of those. And actually, I was going to save that. And here is the glass. Now the glass is all bagged up really well inside another bag and then wrapped with this like cryo stuff around it to protect it so it doesn't get scratched up. And because I don't want it to get scratched up, we're actually just going to leave it in the bag just the way it is there. And there you go guys, there is a quick look at the new Ming 112 scale Ford GT40 Mark II, 1966 version. Uh, like I was telling you earlier, this kit will be available for pre-order on our website, andyshhq.com. And hopefully we're expecting them in, in about five to six weeks. Could be a little bit earlier than that, we're still waiting on uh, shipment notifications. But looks to be a really nice kit. Now. I would like to build one of these up and plan on building one of these up. I do have to work on that McLaren Senna first before I can get going on this one. So it'll be a little bit of time before this one comes out, but uh, looks to be a really nice build. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys as always for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.